I have no clue how to record this, guys. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and give it a shot. So I hope it's not just me. I hope it's true kind of for everybody. But uh, for me, it sometimes happens that I wake up and I feel like I've been hit by a truck. No matter what I do, I kind of feel tired or weak and uh, coffee doesn't help. And it doesn't really go away throughout the day. Yeah, it might be that, you know, I've not been sleeping enough or I'm not in the best mood. And when I say that, um, I'm not in the best mood for no reason. So if nothing specific happens, still I have these days where you are just like, Meh. everything is just, you know, everything is exhausting. And um, I, I hope I'm not the only one. <laughs> if I'm the only one, then you, you can tell me. Um, but, uh, I think this is generally true for every human being. Uh, we just don't like talk about that because, um, at work, at school, we still need to like deliver the same results. And on these days, I still sometimes, you know, want to play arena breakout. Why not? And there are actually multiple reasons why you would want to do that if you are in a bad mood. Like generally speaking, video games, mobile games, they can like suck you out of reality, put you into something else where you can feel a bit different. You can be a hero, you can be a, a wizard, or you can be a soldier or whatever. So that's, I think that's the, you know, a, a normal thing to do nowadays. Back then it must have been really weird for my parents to see that I play PC games and then PlayStation, mobile games, but that was actually back then. Now it's different. I think it's fully normal regardless of age. So it doesn't matter if you're four or 40 or 70. It's absolutely normal if you play video games for the reason to get a bit away from the world. So don't feel bad about that. If you have that feeling, that's, that's perfectly fine. I can tell you that. But back to Arena Breakout and why am I recording all of this? Um, I want you to know that my performance in the game is not always consistent. And we often talk about, or no, we don't often talk about it, but it's very straightforward that usually creators publish the videos, the games where they have been performing the best. Most kills, um, I don't know, most red items. In my Shady Tales episodes, you see me dying a lot. I think it's not a shame. And I wouldn't be honest and transparent if I wouldn't show you these clips where I actually die. But I want to build on top of that. And I want to share that I have days where I feel like that my performance, my aim is like absolute trash. Like such a noob level where I even sometimes ask myself that if I would be live streaming this right now, what would the audience think? Like I have days. And this is one of the days where I cannot even hit like bots or I mean, I can, I can kill them obviously, but usually how I envision it is that, you know, I see the bot, I zoom instantly at the head, like one tap, the bot is dead. And sometimes I feel like that I'm very slow and, um, and my aim just doesn't work. And, uh, the decisions I make during the game, they are not the best ones. And even Tetrising doesn't go as easy. Sometimes I'm just sitting there and I'm thinking that, okay, if I pick up this purple item, then should I drop my search kit or is the search kit more expensive? And I actually spend like five seconds like hesitating what to do with that. And there are other days where I perform well. I mean. I have days where I go into TV station and I feel confident and I wipe the lobby and then I clear off the saves and everything is just fine. But uh, it's not always like that. And I wanted you to know about that. Okay. Maybe it's going to help you with whatever in life. Maybe if you see that one of the creators is talking about that and you have that feeling or you have those days or you have those, you know, ups and downs, maybe um, after seeing this, you're going to tell yourself that hey, I'm not the only one, so that's normal. I shouldn't be feeling bad because I'm not always the best or I'm not always like doing all the kills. I think it's perfectly fine. By the way, the secondary reason why I wanted to record this is because 
if you are consciously like recognizing that you have such a day, then I have some recommendations for you. For example, avoid like the sweaty lobbies and sweaty game modes. If you feel that today is not your day, then don't force yourself into TV station forbidden zone because I know it's, it's not going to work. And uh, what I'm talking about, it's something that can actually change during the day. So it, it's not necessarily true that you wake up, you have a bad day, and then in the afternoon you're going to still perform bad. But uh, for me, it, it, it can last like for an actual day. I mean, it happens. And the game I have in the background, just to highlight a couple of things. Um, I've been spotting some shots uh, at the beginning and I was hiding behind the cliff. I was hiding behind the rock and I had the teammate like standing next to me and I wanted him to check the area. All I felt inside is that, guys, it's the first game I played today. I just don't want to die. I just don't want to peek. I just don't want to push because I don't feel strong. And if I see an enemy, then most likely he's going to be the one like shooting me first. Or maybe I'm not even going to see the enemy randomly. I'm just going to die. So I went to the hotel and again, I was very like fighting in a passive way and uh, my teammate died or my teammates died. I think both of them died. And uh, <laughs> because of that, I found myself being alone in the hotel, knowing that there is an enemy. And there was that second where the enemy was speaking like for a, for a single second. And based on the peak, I felt that, that it must be a good player because he wasn't peaking slow. He was peaking like very fast like how I explained it in yesterday's training ground video. And I felt like, okay, this is the end. And <laughs> I did my best to shoot back. <laughs> and the, 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 the funny thing about this video is that, or this game is that I actually killed that guy. And I was absolutely not confident about, you know, my performance. And I spent like, I don't know, two or three minutes checking the area because I didn't see the headshot. I didn't see that I landed the headshot. I didn't hear the noise. I mean, the, you know, the, the headshot um, um, sound because he was also hitting me. And I was spending like five minutes until I realized that, guys, I did that kill. So I, it was <laughs> like terribly bad. And on top, by the way, after like running around in the hotel and having the GS2 headset on, which I looted from that guy, I felt like that there's just too much noise. Like I hear too much. I, I hear the bots and you know, I start thinking whether the bot is on the second floor or is he gonna attack me? What if it's not actually a bot? Is it gonna be another player? So you know that in these situations, on these days, the noise can be just too much. Like, you know, your, your, your brain is not braining correctly and therefore definitely don't use a GS2 headset on these days because it's going to, you know, at, at least for me, it drives me crazy because I have no clue where the sounds are coming from. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't be playing Arena Breakout. You can find those game modes and you can find those loadouts which still work. And maybe this is going to be the thing that, you know, flips the... the your, your mood into becoming a, a good mood. I mean, if you are uh, dressing up into T5 and you, your hands are shaking because you are uncertain about your stuff during the day, then it's going to make it even more worse because you're going to lose like one or two games, you're going to lose a million, and then you're going to feel that on top of everything, you know, I played the game and now everything is even more trash. So don't do that. Um, maybe pick up like a T3, um, helmet or a you know T3 loadout, full loadout with a cheap gun, and try to have fun. Try to um, do like a, a challenge type of of um, not challenge type of, but maybe like a you know where you are the underdog and you are trying to have a lucky kill. Um, try these type of things. Avoid playing like the like the sweaty things. 
and only start the game if you feel inside that even if I'm gonna die, I don't care because I play to have fun and to make my day, you know, a tiny bit better. And I'm not sure if it's like fate or creator's luck or whatever, but I even found a golden lion in this game. And I felt inside that <laughs> I'm absolutely sure that I'm gonna die. Like eventually in the hotel, somebody is hiding, somebody is ratting, or on my way outside. When I run to the extraction, I was absolutely sure that I'm gonna die. What I wanna say to you guys or share with you guys that even I have these moments, I have these days, I have those games where I where I just feel terribly bad and weak and, and, and I don't have that confidence level. It happens to me. I'm sure it applies to many of you. I know many of you have gear fear and there are many also who think that they are not like impacted by emotions or external things and they you know they don't care about the gear but to a certain extent everybody cares about the gear everybody cares about winning otherwise if you wouldn't care at all then why do you play the game yes we play for fun but on top of that there's an extra layer there would be no motivation to stay alive if you wouldn't care at all so obviously if there is you know some level of motivation to keep yourself alive then 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 you actually care. And if you care, then you actually don't want to lose your stuff. So everybody cares. And on that note, actually, there's something else I want to share. I'm working hard to define like the ultimate treasure hunter gear. I want to put together a loadout, which is like competitive, which you can actually use to fight T5 people. So you don't need to be afraid of them with T4 ammunition, proper armor. And I want that loadout to be um, below 100,000. That's going to be our ultimate treasure hunter loadout. Not just for Northridge, but um, Northridge is still a very nice go-to place because you have all of the saves in one place. Um, and I want to present that to you and hope that loadout is going to make you rich. Because if you are rich, like rich, like virtually rich, then, um, or in other words, if you have a big, big storage value, then you are not going to mind losing some of your stuff, some of your gear, even if you have a bad day. It's not going to hit you. It's not going to, you know, impact you emotionally because, you know, if you have 65 million storage value, then if you lose 2 million, it's not the end of the world. So this is going to be my closing thought. And again, I want to remind you that we are all human. We have these emotions. We have these ups and downs. And nobody on earth is constantly being good at something. Not in arena breakout. Never. You always have ups and downs. So don't feel bad about that. Thanks for watching. See you later. Shoot, loot, subscribe. And um, have a nice day. Shady out. Bye.